this video I have a less modified version of the sun salute so if you're a beginner then look at the other one. Before I get lost in my chatter I will come into my start position. There's lots of information actually that I've dropped below in the comments um, about all of the benefits that can be had um, from a sun salute so that we can make this video quite short and get going right away. So we'll start with the feet, just finding the four corners of your feet, lengthening through the toes, broadening the soles of your feet. We can drop the tailbone down between the heels, so encouraging the coccyx to the earth and the crown of the head towards the ceiling. We want to feel engaged in the abdomen, so you could even draw a navel to spine and then totally relax across the upper chest, the muscles at the tops of the shoulders, softening the trapezius muscles and just finding your breath, deepen your breath. Keep your in and exhale equal in length. And after the next exhale, we're gonna stretch the arms skywards, pressing through the four corners of the feet as we do, make the body as long as possible. We still want the tailbone pointing between the heels and then we're coming into a back bend. So tilting the chest, tilting the breastbone skywards. We can rotate the arms wide, breathing into the chest. Maybe taking the gaze to the ceiling. One more big inhale and come back to the center. Palms together, we're going to roll ourselves forward. Do pull your navel to your spine. Keep the knees soft and touch down onto the floor. We want to relax fully through the spine and then engage all the muscles in the back. Flatten the back. We're stepping the right leg back. Push into the heel. Lift the thigh and we want to move the top of the head forward away from the heel. We can pull navel to spine, reach the arms forward, check your balance and then press through the four corners in the left foot and we'll sweep the arms up towards the ceiling for our high lunge. And here we can relax the back, let the shoulder girdle slide towards the earth, finding balance, breathing into our stretch. Maybe you'd like to take a back bend if the hip flexor allows. And we'll draw one more big inhale before bringing the palms to the floor, stepping back to plank, feel free to drop your knees, and then we're lowering the chest. As we lower the chest, keep your elbows above the wrist, keep the weight moving forward. Maybe we can bring the shoulders all the way down in line with the elbows. And from here, we move to upward dog, pull the pubic bone towards the navel, we want to support the lower back, drawing the breath in, and move to downward facing dog. Release that breath. Press down through the fingers and the thumbs. We want to keep encouraging the shoulder girdle to move towards the hips, but then encourage the hips to move away from the shoulder girdle. If you slightly rotate the upper arms out and press slightly more, to the front side of your palms, we should feel nice and solid in the arms. And then we can have a good pedal and a play around with the lower body, if you so wish. I love playing around in the downward dog. So coming back to the center, I'm gonna sink the right heel to the floor, lift up the left leg and step the foot forward. Back into our lunge, so we push back into the heel move forward with the head and check your balance and once you're steady you can keep the arms long sweeping them up to the sky lifting into high lunge finding balance maybe taking a back bend definitely breathing in to where you're stretched in the body we've got one more big breath in and we'll bring the hands back down step forward and soften over the thighs. Relax in the back. We can then take the arms wide, flatten in the back, keep the knees soft so there's not too much strain in the hamstrings and we'll float ourselves back up into the stretch. Tailbone down, crown lifts, body long, take the back bend. Arms wide, we're bringing into the track. And moving straight to the other side, back to center. Palms together, navel to spine, roll down. Relaxing and then engaging. Flat back, left leg steps back. 
push into the heel, lift the thigh and move the top of the head forward. We're reaching the arms forward, checking balance and pushing through the right foot before sweeping the arms skywards, lifting into our lunge. Breathing into our stretch, maybe increasing the stretch with the back bend. We've got one more inhale, bringing hands to floor, stepping back to our plank and just lowering the chest. Where can we go? How low can you go? And then we move to upward dog. And from our upward dog to downward facing dog. And here we can catch a breath. Engaging the muscles that support the wrist. Engaging all the muscles through the arms. Keeping the tops of the shoulders from the ears. Lengthening through the trunk of the body. Breathing into any space we create within the body. Sinking left heel to floor this time. Lift up the right leg. And swing the knee forward. <laughs> Back to our lunge. <laughs> Stabilising yourself. Lengthening the spine. We check our balance and sweep up into our lunge. <sighs> Breathing into your stretch. Perhaps increasing the stretch with your back bend. Drawing one more big inhale. Hands to floor. Step forwards. And relax. We're drawing navel to spine. Arms wide. Flat back. Ooh, sweeping up. Making the body long, tailbone to earth, crown to sky. We take that back bend. Couple of breaths into the chest. And we come back to where we started in equal balanced position. And there we have it. Feel free to repeat as many times as you like. Maybe you prefer to slow it down, have fun with it, um, and absolutely be careful with yourself.